Hi guys, welcome back. So in this video, we'll go with the starter code. We'll set the main activity. So I have uh, initialized the variables. Initialized a variable, image capture. And then another variable so I have used a latent so using latent it's uh, simply that uh, we are promising our compiler that will initialize uh, initialize it later on before using this variable so or else if you haven't uh, declared anything for this uh, before using this uh, it will throw a Kotlin uninitialized property access exception so make sure that uh, you uh, declare the variable before using it anywhere in your program so I have uh, initialized the variables for image capture, output directory and camera executor. And then after that, I will go with the on create. Uh, inside this, we'll put the code for uh, requesting the camera permissions. So if uh, all the permissions are granted, we'll uh, declare if, uh, if statement. So if all the permissions has been granted means we'll go uh, we'll start our camera or else we'll request a permissions from the user so for that uh, all permissions granted so we'll write a function and then implement the code over inside that function later on and then even for start camera also and then inside the else statement I have uh, requested the permissions to be granted from the user. And the required permissions, we need to uh, initialize uh, the variable. So we'll do that uh, later on. And then next, we'll set up the listener to capture or take the photo for the button so we have given so the button we have given in our XML code so get the ID of the button which you have mentioned there and then uh, after putting the ID put the set on click listener so when the button clicked uh, do some operation we will do capture I mean take the photo after clicking the button and then take photo so we'll write a function for take photo and then output directory so uh, I have previously I have initialized a variable latent variable for the output directory so here uh, I'm declaring the output directory to get output directory function and then for uh, camera executed variable so we'll use the uh, use this executors to declare the camera executor and then okay first let uh, let me quickly add the function for take photo uh, we'll do the code later on and then we'll also add for start camera and then we will add another function for permissions so all permissions granted so we'll add a order all the permissions we need so required permissions which we will declare in a companion object so Okay, then we'll first go with the companion object and we'll declare the variables. 
so I have used the tag so So our file name format, uh, I have used a date. So you can use uh, whatever the file name you want to save your photo in your gallery or something. So I have used uh, this year, month, date, uh, and then the time. So you can use uh, your own format. And then so I have uh, initialized a request code permission and it's my static data. Then and then required permissions. So this will be the array of uh, the permissions uh, that we'll be uh, giving uh, in our manifest. We need to give the permission. So the request uh, camera permissions, uh, we will add the that in the manifest file later on. And then inside this, so we have uh, used a check self permission. Okay. So, and then I have used a package uh, manager to get the permissions uh, that's granted. Okay. Okay, we'll deal with this later on. We will go to our next function. Uh, get output directory which extends uh, the file uh, which we have initialized uh, and declared it as a uh, and then so I have uh, initialized a variable media directory for the external media uh, directories so and then And then we have like the file so we'll give the name of our directory like uh, I have given uh, my app name so I have get the name from my resources so I have used the string app name you can use uh, whatever the name you want to create your directory but uh, for your uh, user experience you can go with your app name and then and then it will return if uh, media directories not equal to null and and write uh, media directory exist if this exists then we'll go with the media directory or else we'll go with the files directory and then we'll uh, go with the on destroy method so to destroy uh, the app when uh, for example if we go uh, to back to home uh, after our camera then it should we have uh, so we should shut down our app and then we will go to the manifest file so before the app opens a camera uh, it needs permission from the user to do so so in this step, 
we will uh, implement the camera permissions uh, inside uh, our Android manifest uh, XML we'll add these lines before the application tag uh, for the camera permission and then uh, inside our main activity we will go to our uh, function on request permission so we'll write another function on request permission result so so if the uh, request code uh, equals to the request code permissions uh, that we have initialized and then inside that if uh, we have uh, given so if all the permissions has been granted and then we will start our camera or else we will uh, ask our user to uh, give the permission like for example we will add a toast to uh, like permissions not granted by the user and then we will finish So check uh, if the request uh, code is correct. So ignore it otherwise. So we will use it for request code. If request code is equal to request code permission. So we will check the request code here. So if it's correct or not. And then and then inside this if the permissions are granted if the permissions are granted then we will call our start camera function inside this and then if permissions are not granted we will present a toast to notify the user that the permissions were not granted yet And then uh, we are getting an error over here so it's okay and then so in the permissions okay okay we have got an error here so it's because of the Android permission camera which we have initialized in the manifest so I think uh, it's because of the manifest Java we have added it should be the so we'll replace it with Android. You can see the manifest Android over here. So after adding this, so yeah, it's done perfectly. And then when you run this app, so when we run this app, will the our app will ask us for permissions so that's from the user so we need to accept that so a cradle bell running okay and then install perfect so yeah our app is running perfectly fine so it asks for permission allow miss wow app to take pictures and record video and then when i give allow 
and the next operation we'll do that in the next video